<laughs> hey friends, welcome back to Wolf Daddy's Kitchen. Hey, I'm Wolf Daddy Leighton Cougar and uh, I have something I want to share with you. I think many of us can relate to the experience. You know, maybe we all can't, but many of us can relate to the experience of having acid reflux. Now, it is one of the worst things that I can imagine happening, especially because it happens in the middle of the night. And it's so uncomfortable, and who can sleep with that? So if you've had acid reflux, you can relate. And did you know that your dog can also get acid reflux? Now, this is, it was sort of a surprise to me until I had it and started doing some research. So it was just, um, it was just a few weeks ago. Uh, just last month when uh, I just was having this horrible burning feeling in my throat and I would wake up with my mouth just dry and it was super uncomfortable and I was in the morning I was gagging the nights got worse and I, I went to the doctor he says hey you've got acid reflux and he prescribed me to go to the store and just get some over-the-counter um, Nexium or um, Zantec. So I, I got, I saw the Nexium, I got that, and uh, I just, uh, I so hate taking pills, but this was making me crazy. And the doctor said that the reason why I have acid reflux is uh, probably ate something spicy too late in the evening, uh, maybe too much coffee, which I only drink it once a day, uh, some chocolate is, a, is another one. And I said, well, I did have chocolate one night, and uh, uh, and it's and so your stomach is producing too much stomach acid, and that's and it's backing up, and that's what's causing this burning sensation and this gagging, horrible sensation, and all that <coughs> in the morning, <laughs> you know. And uh, and I got to thinking, you know, a couple of years ago, before my dog Rex died, he was doing some of the same things you know gagging in the morning and and uh and he also wasn't eating very well and he would only eat super soft food and uh you know of course that's what when i did the research that's what it said eat super soft foods so uh so i took the nexium and the next day i had just like horrible stomach cramps diarrhea it was awful awful and uh, that night I still had the acid reflux. Now it does say it might take up to four days to work, so I'll give it four days. So the next day I took it and uh, I felt, I would say a tad bit better. I uh, was still sleeping in an upright position because that makes it a little bit easier. Uh, it doesn't feel so bad. And, uh, but still stay, keeping me up all night. And, uh, uh, so I think the third night I slept pretty good, uh, not too much acid relief. By the fourth night, I was good. I slept all right. So the fifth day, I didn't take it. Sixth day, I didn't take it. The sixth night, I experienced hell. Uh, so I, I could not sleep. It was burning me. There was nothing I could do to extinguish the fire in my throat. So all I could do was sit upright. So I set up my computer and I started doing some research on acid reflux and lo and behold what did I learn I learned that there's basically two camps one camp like the doctor says you have too much stomach acid you ate the inappropriate things too late at night blah 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 the other camp says you have not enough <laughs> stomach acid and it's not because you ate too late it's because you know there you possibly have an allergen or this or that and, uh, and of course, almost all research points back to Nexium and Zantec. Well, uh, Zantec was just call, recalled by the FDA and taken off store shelves just a week or just about a week or so ago. So uh, I now I want to <laughs> examine what are the side effects of this pill that I've taken now for four days. What's the side effects? So let me read you the side effects. The short list here is uh, headache, diarrhea, decreased appetite, constipation, dry mouth, uh, uh, unusual taste in the mouth, abdominal pains, 
allergic reactions. Now, what that might be, it's unspecified. Uh, dark urine, chest or back pain, acne, changes of heart rhythm, fever, yellow col coloration of the eyes, otherwise jaundice, uh, extreme fatigue and muscle weakness, uh, uh, tingling and, and pringling sensation all, all through your body, persistent sore throat, persistent stomach pain, muscle spasm, shaking, diarrhea, watery stools, they mentioned diarrhea twice, seizures, and lo and behold, the uh, risk of hip fracture. Now it says on the bottle they only take it no more than 14 days, and I know people who have taken it for years uh, and, and, and I can totally imagine no one wants to live with this horrible feeling in your throat for years. Nobody does. Not even our dogs do. Nobody wants that. And so I can sympathize with my dog Rex if indeed that, that was something he was suffering from. So I looked that up as well and I discovered that the symptoms are really the same. Uh, the unwillingness to eat, maybe even uh, whining while they eat because it's their throat is sore, uh, weight loss because they don't want to eat because their throat is sore, and and gagging and giving a vomit-like sensation, which it definitely Rex is doing. So I can absolutely uh, sympathize and empathize with any body, uh, be it human or canine, who is suffering from acid reflux. Now, um, I did learn that across the board, a lot of the things that they're saying is that you're uh, eating too much food too close to bedtime and laying down because uh, uh, a, a hiatal hernia is one of the other reasons why you might have acid reflux and that can happen often when you eat a large meal and then lay, lie down and go to sleep. So that's the same with your dog. So it's what's a good idea and what, what's a great practice always is if you're eating a meal and then taking a walk after the meal. Let your body take time to digest that food. So instead of feeding your body too late at night and eating things that might cause acid reflux or like drinking coffee or, or tea or eating chocolate or spicy foods before you go to bed, same with your dog. We never want to give our dog spicy foods. They never need their food spiced and they don't like it anyway. Uh, but um, making sure that you're not feeding your dog too much too late at night. What's best is feeding uh, before some sort of activity like going for a walk or playing in the yard but not ex not extreme activity because that can cause another problem like gastric torsion in your dog so <clears throat> so being very mindful of what's going in your dog's food uh, maybe even best to prepare your dog's own food something simple something really bland something like chicken broth with maybe some collagen put in with that chicken broth and uh, maybe just a small amount of uh, well-cooked brown rice so or even white rice so what about you what about yeah uh, you know I, I don't know what the absolute cure is for a dog there's no real hard science or evidence relating to acid reflux in our dog but if we do notice it there are some at least some things that we can do to help prevent it or at least relieve some of that but i have this super secret weapon for you and me that might work for you because it's definitely worked for me and thank god and it's so simple and i can toss away the pill forget about the pill i took it four days i'm not taking it again and the super simple ingredient number one is an apple so let me tell you what i'm going to do this apple i'm going to first i'm going to peel this apple now i i could leave the peeling on but there's just so many pesticides and things that get on the peelings of of apples i love to peel them so I'm going to go ahead and peel them and compost that. And then next, I'm going to just simply cut it into small pieces. And uh, really small little slivers is what the way I would like it to be. And then my next super secret weapon is some honey uh, from bees that I know personally. And then yogurt. I take a, a, a bit of honey on the spoon. And then I take a bit of yogurt on the spoon. And then I eat that. And it's so sweet and delicious. And then I chase it down with one of those slivers of apple. And 
I the reason why I cut it up in little pieces is it makes me eat it slow. Yeah, you could eat the whole apple, but I, I like to chew it well and then swallow it slowly. And that just seems to do something. I'm not sure what. And after I finish the apple, I'll wait probably at least a half hour to 45 minutes before I go to bed. And let me tell you what, I have done that now for at least 12 days straight, 12 nights straight. And I have had zero acid reflux and I have slept all night long. Now, it's very rare. It's been a very long time since I have slept all night long. So I am extremely grateful. And I found this just by surfing the web, man. just by looking at YouTube videos and what's real, what can work. And I've seen a lot of different remedies. One of the most popular is apple cider vinegar with like lemon and ginger and cinnamon and things like that, some sort of like um, drink. Uh, I tried some apple cider vinegar. It didn't really work out well for me. But this apple and this honey and this yogurt combination has just sealed the deal. And for 12 nights now, I've had perfect, like perfect sleep. And I'm so excited about that. I wanted to share that with you and just know that if you're suffering uh, with this and that your symptoms, um, you look at your dog and see, make sure that your dog's not having some of the same symptoms. And hey, and by the way, I've met plenty of dogs that love to eat apples. Mine here don't, but I've met plenty of dogs who love to eat apples. So maybe that's another potential solution for your dog. So just wanted to share from Wolf Daddy's Kitchen. I'm no doctor. I'm just a guy who found something that worked for me and I hope it can work for you. Hey, and, and if you're new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, share with friends. Help me boost this channel because I want to get up to at least a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours watched as fast as possible because that way I can get this channel monetized so I can keep doing what I do. And that's sharing with you fantastic fun tips and tri tricks to stay healthy for you and your dog. And that's my goal. So hang out with me in Wolf Daddy's Kitchen. And thanks for being here.